Good morning, friends. We're back after being beat on Call of Duty Black Ops. Man, they picked on me! Ah! Well, I, Happy Chef Will, have come over to a game I do love. World of Tanks here, free to play. Home of my stable of a bazillion tanks. And you're watching this on Xbox One, and this is Twitch TV. Um, I'm a Twitch partner. I love doing this. I love broadcasting. I love playing games. Oh, man, did I just get whooped in God. We took a look at the new maps, and they were like, Bring it on, old man. Don't play much regular. Headshot, headshot, dance through your bullets. Headshot, headshot, dance through your bullets. I'm like, ah! But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. All right, so... As we get here and look at our tanks today, I'll show you one of the newest ones in my stable. This is a really sweet artillery piece. It's a tier 9 arty, and there's a lot of things about the French arty that I love. All right, Chef, what about the French arty do you love? Well, first off, let me show you, my friends. Now, I only have the, the tier 9 gun on it, and actually the tier 9 gun is as high as the French Hardy goes. Even at tier 10, it stays at a tier 9, but there's a significant reason why. Why, Chef? Well, look at these details. You can fire an artillery round that does a really nice amount of damage about two times per every one shot that the big gun artillery can fire. So while you're a little bit more mobile, having a turret that turns instead of like a stationary artillery, that's really big too. You see these artilleries right here? When I go to use this, I have to turn this tank the entire way I'm aiming, but not with this BC at tier nine now, it's got a flexible turret. It's a really nice piece of equipment. So let's take her out and try to get a win. Oh man, I hope I blow up somebody that plays Call of Duty Black Ops 3 with my tank. Be like, this is for the pain I suffered earlier! <laughs> Don't abuse! Full Vader mode. <laughs> the power of the dark side. Hmm. We will be on Mortal Kombat tomorrow. I know Fight Club guys are like, come on, we want to fight! You gotta let this old man rest, man. We've done 15 hours of Fight Club in the last two days. I'm like, oh, fatality. Today we're gonna look at, again, one of my favorites, World of Tanks. I broadcast it a lot in here, and when I'm not broadcasting, I play it a lot. And I play what I love. My tear Artie. There's a lot of pressure on the Artie. I hope I get a level where I can really assist my team and not suck. The other day, I'm mean, like in the chat listening to him, and they're like, Hey, Artie, you think you could get off your ass and maybe hit this guy over here? And so I blow the dude up, and I'm like, Why don't you bite my Artie's shiny metal ass? Oh. Oh, too much fun. Well, Abby at night. Okay, I think I can make this work for an artillery run. Let's check it out. And again, hopefully I don't let my team down. I don't want to be the arty that they have that doesn't help. Film Freak, good morning, sir. All right, so the nice thing again about these night, night levels is check this out. What I like to do with my arty is kind of back up, you know, get a little... Try to find, like, a little ditch in the map where, like, I can kind of shoot out of but not be shot from. Maybe right there by that tree is kind of looking like us. We're going to be uh, poppies by the tree over here. Shout out to the Married with Children reference. And Phil Freak, you were the first one back in at our second broadcast of the pain after the cod gods destroyed me. They picked on me, Phil Freak. They abused the shepherd. All right, so that... That villa's going to be, or the abbey's going to be a major impediment to my artillery. So I'm going to have to try to work around it blocking my line of sight. And see what stuff I can help out with on the side road. Oh, man, they picked on me, bro. I was like 4 and 25, and my team's like, well, we won, Chef. You did okay. At least we won. And I'm like, oh. I didn't even know I could die that fast. The worst part is when your team's, your team's trying to pep you up and they're like, It's okay, bro. 
All right, so let's see if we can't get some shots in off here and help these guys. It looks like our team's going to divide into two flanks. That guy's going to leave himself open, but maybe score some shots on these guys' backs. Oh, yeah. See if we can't help him. They're going to be focused on him, and I'm going to try to big boom him. Oh, yeah! The big boom! Sir Big Booby 10! Koala's La Fecha de Boom! <laughs> la boom boom! La boom boom! That's what I call this take, the la boom boom. Ooh, la boomington? Right. Let's send that one in. Oh, he's backing off. Snikes! So close. But again, a very merciful tank to use for the RD. I really recommend the French line on this, guys. Look at that reload time. Instead of a 30 second reload time, I'm going to get these big, massive shells capable of doing tremendous damage, but. I'm going to have a nice reload time. And each each tank kind of has its own little things. Like the like the, the I've learned that the the amazing UK artillery have huge oh they have oh nice shot teammate. They have uh oh ah, run chef. If you hear that that is the alarm of that they're aiming at me. Run Jeffrey. I don't have my tier 10 engine in this thing yet so I can't run properly and I bet they're already probably trying to kill me cuz I'd be trying to kill him if he got spotted. Ah! No, they can't kill the power of the girly scream. Will not be denied. Run, la boom boom. Viva la boom. All right, I'm going to head over here and try to hide. Hide. Don't look. I'm not over here in this bush. The sacred bush. All right, I got to get back on the clock, too. Because these guys need me, man. They need me. I can't believe I escaped that. Usually when you get spotted, it's like game over. What's up, Tragic Plot? Hey, Film Freak. Yeah, the XPM network's awesome, bro. Yeah, man. That's an awesome thing. We got to get their link up, Film Freak. Film Freak, let's get all their links, bro. Let's get their Twitter and their Twitch and everything, dude. I really want to be nice to those guys. They've been good friends of mine for a long time now. And, you know, it's, you know who your friends are when people support you, you know, and they're like, their XPM is just awesome. They're gentlemen. I dig them. Ooh, all right, guys. Are we going to win this one or are we going to lose this one? It's going to be close. Could go either way. I feel like running for their base right now. Uh-oh. I got problems. This guy's going to be right here. I need to back up my teammate with an uber-duper maneuver. The power of the uber! Oh, it missed! Save me! Save me, Gaylord Folker! Save me, Gaylord Folker! I need help, Daddy's going to... Don't let him kill me! Ah! I want to live. Oh, no. No. Oh. Not the tsunami of unami -ness. Well, I did my best. We got to vogue that out. We always joke. I'm going to make a tank platoon called the Pits in honor of Brad Pitt. <laughs> what? We leave good looking corpses in my platoon. <laughs> we do. Alright, alright, alright. Good morning, chicken! Getting really close over here on my AT7. Guys, let me point this out to you. This amazing, I made an amazing video yesterday and recorded a win with it. Like, stood my ground, and I love these UK tank destroyers. Now, basically, a brick wall, just like, yeah! and then on the side, so you don't want them to get behind you. This is your weak spot. Anywhere on this side or the weak spot, but your front is really strong. And then the gun, let's look at the details on these guns, man, because I love the UK guns. Especially, all right, so you start out, and you've got, look down there where it says the Roman numeral 5. You've got a tier 5 gun. Eee! On a tier 7 tank. Yeah. But, really soon, you can, your first upgrade, you go straight from a tier 5 gun to a tier 7 gun. And let's look at the details on that. In 18, you can fire 18 rounds per minute with that, and it's got wicked penetration per the level. But it even gets better. So by the end of it, you're going up to your top tier 7 gun, which actually gives you a tier 8 gun, 
and now you're firing 10 rounds per minute but look at that penetration at 226 and the damage i'm just telling you this is one of those games where you work your way up to get better and now the point of all of this is i am 4,000 points away if i use up my 25,000 of free xp from my new at-15 which is a tier 8 british destroyer tank destroyer and as you can see the first upgrade takes it from a tier 7 gun for only 1500 points of experience it goes to a tier 8 gun so this is going to be one wicked mammer jammer man and we're going to be getting into this the next couple days what's up mckinney family hello best job ever i love that quote i love that quote let's take this bad boy out though with enough and and Every time you play your tank for the first time that day, every 24 hours, you get double XP for your first win. That's huge towards advancing these tanks. So let's hope for a big game. Get some double XP. I need my platoon. Where are my tank killers? Where's Craig? I need Lucky Craig. Hold on. I'm, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be Rick instead of Carl. I'm going to go, Craig, where's Craig? <laughs> I need my Craigums. Dude, we call Craig Lucky Craig on here. A lot of times you'll get two tiers above you. Every time I play with Craig, we're either even tier or top tier. Where's Lucky Craig? Yes. Oh, and we're doing YouTube. Yeah. I like to put the highlight broadcast, like the best broadcast of the day, up on YouTube. This is my second broadcast of the day. I got destroyed on COD earlier. I had a couple nice hardcore games. We looked at the new maps, but then they were like, Chef, play this mode where you gotta carry like a basketball and slam dunk it virtually while 20 guys are shooting you in the face. And I was like, Aah! It was quite challenging. Okay, this map usually goes down at this hill right here. So what I'm gonna try to do is get over here to fire gun support on this hill right here to the right. That hill, usually both sides will crest at that hill, depending if it's an encounter battle. If it's an encounter battle with an optional base, sometimes that hill won't always come into play. But this time, that hill is going to be a major player. That's why everybody's kind of moving along at it. And shout out to the McKinney fam. What's up, amazing video makers here on Xbox? Dude, I'm super happy, bro. I've already got a whole pot of coffee in me, man. I'm like, Aah! They can't stop me, man. Once I get the pot of coffee, the happiness goes tenfold. So what we're going to kind of try to do is look over these guys' shoulders. Anybody that crests that hill too high right now is going to get wasted. And then that bottom down there is going to play a really big part, too, as it slopes all the way down this mountain. This level is a really interesting level. It's actually one of my more favorite levels. Hopefully your team... That guy up there right there, the Fuego de Uncle, he's crazy. He just, like, lit himself up to, like, their whole army. Also... It helps to look to see what your other team's got. They've got six tank killers. We need to bring these guys to us or find them CQC style because if we try to fight these guys at range, they're going to chop us up. So a lot of times patience is a real virtue in this game, waiting for the other side to get impatient. What's up, Sarandos? Hello. Woo, that's a good deal, Film Freak. What's up, the Shaggy Hobo? Oh, I gotta have my coffee. Oh, man. Nice, nice. All right, so it's looking like it's going down this way. We got a tank killer pushing through the field there. That guy's nuts. He's crazy. He's on a suicide. I think he's trying to spot our arty for the enemy arty. What I need to do is manually line him up and take him out. The commander is hurt. He can't focus. He's going after our artillery. Sad to see like that get through the whole field. I'm gonna do my best to get over there, but not the fastest tank. I always like to try to keep my arty alive though, if possible, because you know it's gonna be in such a super serious support role. I'm co oh, nice shot, the Rupa. That's a tank killer over there, the RHM. You see him over there on the hill? He smashed that thing. Good shot, Roomba. Way to look out for our arty, bro. That actually probably helped our team too because it stopped that assault on that hill and it was looking like our guys were going to just give it to these guys and go up on that hill and let all those tank killers kill us. But instead now they're down three tank killers and it's kind of more of an even match. 
that's where that patience really comes in in this. You know, tanks, like if you're used to Call of Duty, it's like I have to switch between them. Because in tank mode, you get into a really thoughtful patient mode. When you call it, dude, you might be like, Rawr! wall running sideways, blasted five people. Oh. Oh, man. I have to switch between the powers of the modes. All right, so what I want to do is make sure my side flank right here is protected over the side of this hill. And also kind of watch out this way and start putting some fire down range. And two more of their tanks just got killed which is really going to start swinging the momentum in our guys' favor. The tempo does pick up, but the tempo picks up like a shark attack when they're in a bait ball, and everybody realizes that, you know, the other team's crumbling. But I definitely want to be wise, man. I can take a lot to the front, but I'm not impenetrable out here. See the British gun, though, how fast it reloads and how it penetrates the armor? It's a beautiful weapon right here. Hell of a weapon system. And that T-29 out there, he's a rock, man. The other thing is to just kind of... Is to just kind of get those guys looking towards us and open up some other opportunities for some other fighters on the field. Like today when I was playing Call of Duty, um, Wesley was like, Hey, Chef, I stole your kill. I don't ever worry about kills and tanks. For me, it's about neutralizing the enemy opponents and the kills and the win will come. It's about the experience to advance your tank that always... Let's see, let's go to give our driver a little health. I'm risking it for the biscuit now. I'm going to put the pressure on. I'm hoping that the ride or die mentality will turn the whole flank. And I'll draw their arty off the other guys. Sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. Spot some tanks. Dropping target. Unlocking target. Nice shot. See? I came out, kind of brought in. Oh! Well, yeah, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a thing. It's kind of Moving knowing your here. tank and knowing that even on frontal right, things, on. like, I could just take a ton of damage, you know? And now we're going to turn this T-20. Ooh, that was an arty just about done me in. That's about it for me on this one. I'm going to just try to go out right here, harassing this guy, do as much damage to him as possible. Ha-ha! Good backup, teammate! Well, I went to Valhalla, but we're up nine tanks to their four. And unless something seriously goes wrong, I think our guys are going to turn this fight check around here. That's the tank I'm going to use next round, and he's got the same barrel I like. That's the 15 pack right there, man. That gun is so powerful, but it's not the most accurate gun in the world. Kind of like a Howie. Uh -uh -uh. There we go. Our guys are going one for one right now, but if they keep the pressure on, and there's options like they could pull into the enemy base. I think they want to hunt down the Artie is the plan right here. But they could pull into the base and put the horn on the other team. Okay, there's a tank killer up here too. And see, that's going to show them where the enemy is, that the enemy's in our base. The enemy could still win this game really easily. If our guys get distracted, see how they're all just going after this kill up here instead of just going down to the enemy base and winning it? I, I kind of don't understand the logic now. I'm getting a little confused, but maybe our guys have something I don't really see here. I would have had to retreat it and probably put the pressure on the enemy team, but oh, they're sitting up here with their own Roomba and an arty. But look at that Roomba. And this guy, he went for a kill on the arty, but that's going to give the Roomba time to shoot them again. We're going to lose this game, actually. Our team's going to lose this one, it looks like. I'm now rooting for the enemy team. Go, enemy team! <laughs> we had an easy victory after all my sacrifices, but... Logic beat out. That Roomba right there, he's got the the, uh, the rifle barrel, massive penetration and a faster fire rate. He's not that armored though, but he can take a couple shots and still do some damage. He's killed three tanks in the last couple seconds. Switch around, see what anybody else is doing. These guys, they, they seem to have not cared that the enemy drove into the base. If this guy hits somebody in the base there, 
that'll reset the clock on the enemy and give our guys a chance to tie this or even pull the win, potentially. There you go. It's going to tie. It's going to be a draw. The enemy's going to turn it to a draw because of this one amazing guy, it looks like. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ah, they won it. Good job. I was getting kind of nervous, man. It was starting to... The dude in the room on the top of the hill was looking like he was about to dance the... Woo! But a victory is a victory, and that's going to give us that double XP, and that's what we want. Yeah! Got to sacrifice. Ooh, let's check our ops. Oh, there's a tank destroyer op up right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, 2,000 points away. That's, that's one or two games. Let's go for it. Let's go for it! Thank you, McKinney. You know, sir, a lot of it for me is as much cerebrally about the whole thing, like understanding the tempo of the battlefield. Sometimes I don't understand maybe a player's motivations, but maybe they were going, maybe they already had two kills and they were going for like a medal or a challenge or something. You know, I mean, it's easy to criticize when you're dead, you know. It's easy to backseat criticize, drive, drive on those guys. I would be hard on my team, but... I was getting pretty impressed with the enemy making his stand up there. Making his stand. Alright, Insk. I like this map. It's kind of a city map. It's got these railroad tracks that run down the middle. And depending on what happens, this could be an interesting map because... It's going to depend a lot on the tanks, on like on what tanks are where and stuff. But like if I set up right with my AT tank destroyer and I'm shooting straight down that line, I have a really good opportunity of, of getting several kills with this tank and being out of the range of the enemy. And it looks like it's about perfectly balanced. We're playing up a tier. They're tier 8s. So I'm a tier 7, but I think we should be able to hold. Oh, dude, I play, bro, I play every day with a five-man platoon, bro. I've got, I've got like 20 people on my friends list that play this game, and then I've got about 100 people that play it part-time, but i got about 20 that are playing it right now. You know, diehards. Diehards, man. It's all about having a great platoon. I have one friend that plays with me, uh, Acid Warfare. He's got tw over 20 tier 10 tanks, but he's the most humble and the nicest guy in the world. And, you know, I make an exception on um, on my rules with him because of his great attitude. Now, this is kind of a fight I'm not... Hey, there's my own version of me kind of looking back at me. I don't know if he has... Oh, they already just pooped on me. No! Oh, bad, bad, bad. Dad, no! <laughs> they already just gave me a blastinating... Kill me almost in one shot. That's on me, too. I thought I had a little bit of defilation. I should have known better. I was sitting right out of the open. Good shot, Artie. Now I gotta be real careful because they'll kill me in one shot at this point. Gotta be real patient. Trying to see if I can squeak around, pull a shot, draw fire, keep them worried about me. There you go. Draw as many shots as possible. Somebody wants to finish me. They're like, come on! It'll be an easy kill! Get him! I'm going to try to draw as many rounds as possible over here. Can't hit me ever! Leave me alone! Oh, no, the arty! <laughs> They're not afraid to wing around it on me. No, I'm like the bait right now. Oh, the only thing between me and Mahal is this wall. Oh, Brad Pitt, I'm coming your way soon, sir. Bogan out, boys! Run away, Shepard! Oh, Mama, no! It was my own version of me. The AT-7 spited me, my evil twin. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Dude. Like, for me, 
I have great games sometimes where I see the whole wisdom of the battlefield, and then sometimes I'm just like, derp. I just drive straight out there like Captain Derpa Claws. Captain Derposaurus! Straight into the battlefield. Nothing can stop me now! <laughs> Chef, first one dead. What's up, Q19? Bro, five to you, my man. Alright, guys, we are on YouTube. We love the YouTube support. Yeah. Oh. Bro, I'm guilty of that, dude. One time I jumped. One time I jumped my Stuart into the battlefield, and there was like six tanks right there on the other team. I crossed the battlefield so fast. I'm like, here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Oh, that's a lot of guns pointed back at me. Oh, now look at my Roomba here, guys. This is a tier eight tank. And Nemesis Finn, every other time, man, he, he's got me going with the 12-8 barrel. But I went back to this 15, dude, because sometimes when you play against tier 6 tanks with this thing, well, it's just a really powerful gun. It has a way of bringing the boom boom. Alright, so let's get on the clock here. Alright, we're playing even tier. Gotta watch out for those Tigers. They got a Roomba of their own. No artillery, and we got six tank killers to their four, so logic would dictate us trying to kind of draw them to us, but we'll see. And the one thing I want to do is make sure I'm in a good support role of the team right here. So it looks like a lot of guys are going to go left. What's the right look like? Ooh, I don't see much right, so I'm going to pivot right and back up this AT-8 and this Tiger too. And together, hopefully, we can either hold the line over here on the right side or, or at least repel any type of counter attack yeah 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 thank you film freak i love you film freak is like amazing guys he brings in all the great news man he will get you all the info on everything and if you watch like he'll be like deal on amazon and stuff all that stuff is totally legit like he that's real stuff he's not just typing in stuff to put a message in there those are real deals on amazon and stuff like that guys I, dude, film, you're awesome, bro. You bring like this professional edge to my channel that I really enjoy, bro. Ready to fire on target. I see one of them. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of so that the team knows. That's my goal was to get over here. I don't have to worry about artillery pooping on me so much, but I do got to be smart, you know. That comet though, I could stack up real nice against him in a head-to-head -head battle. So if he wants to mosey over here and take a peek at me, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Here I am. Come take my hand. <laughs> I love my Eminem. The other option I have too at this point is scoodoodling under that bridge and trying to support that left flank if it gets too weird. But I don't mind being right here. Like a fly in the wall, knowing my role of support. Watch that stuff. I don't want to be taking a lot of shots. Target is moved away. T95 Super Scout? Nice. Damn, 9,000? That's a hell of a game, bro. That's some serious blockage, bro. 9,000? That's ridiculous, dude. I think the most I've blocked is like maybe seven. That's a away. huge game, dude. That's like three times my average blocking when I'm like in my EVE like 100, bro. <laughs> Guys, if you're interested in World of Tanks, I can simply explain it to you like this. It's a free-to-play game, but you got to put some time into it. It's definitely one that rewards the players for, you know, putting time into it. And while it is free-to-play, I recommend the premium. Premium's going to give you double XP. Looks like our guys really got this edge locked down. I'm going to go ahead and fall back under this bridge and try to skadoodle across the battlefield this way. 
I am leaving my butt kind of exposed right now, though, so I need to move fast. Any other tank, I probably wouldn't have gone. This Roomba, super fast, man. It's jumping Jack Flash fast. What I tried to do there is basically use the uh, trench there to allow me to pivot on these guys and put in some support roll for my friend here. And this should be about devastating for this tank if it hits. And it set him on fire. Yeah, that'll that'll stop that whole line over there. That was one hit. I Not just did I set him on fire, but now, yeah, I'm sure he's looking right at me. He's probably wondering what the hell just shot him in his ass with a, with a howitzer. You never want to take a broadside round like that. And that was one of their heaviest tanks. So that was like the best I could do for our Tiger friend was be like, look, bro, I got your back. You see how the three lines on that tank I shot? See how he's almost dead? All, not just that, though. The T-32, that's a super tier 8 heavy, and I blew off all his armor in one shot. Now I'm going to come back over and back this Tiger up like his buddy. Oh, I'm, I'm with you, buddy. You're not alone, bro. You're not alone. I'll never leave you. Uh -huh -huh. And we're going to have these guys pinned between us in a second, and it's going to be bad. They're going to be enveloped on each side. And to know that, see that? That's the power of the Roomba. But I do have a hell of a reload time. I was smart of them to push up. I'm not sad though. Two shots and I broke the backs of the last two tanks there. I'd rather ride or die and back my opponent than I broke that T-32 spine, man. And his buddy right there ain't any happier. Because even, like, you know, they have a little bit of health. That shot knocked off their armor. I mean, whatever armor is left on that tank, it's, it's not going to be able to repel rounds from a light tank anymore after that. So, well, not necessarily. That's not always true. But, and see how these guys are closing in to develop? They're going to come in on the back side over here. And these guys where we were at will be on the front side. So the enemy is going to be caught between two flanks. I stream on Xbox One, the Shaggy Hobo. Oh, oh, no, I'm on Twitch TV, bro. I'm a partner with Twitch. Like, I have a partnership here. But I, I do video on YouTube, and I, I might stream on YouTube one day. I don't know. I mean, like, I love the idea of connecting, talking about games, enjoying games, playing games. It's, it's, every day is a holiday. Believe me, there are rough days doing this. I came on to Black Ops this morning, Call of Duty. I love it, but I got my butt handed to me. It was nice to come over, play some tanks, and be like, okay, well. And they're making a good stand right there. What they're doing is supporting each other with fire. Those last couple tanks, they won't be enough, though. There's just too much coming their way. What's up, MAA fighter? Willow. I love that movie. Val Kilmer, man. Val Kilmer and Willow forever, dude. My mom took me to see that when I was, like, seven. We went and seen it at this huge movie theater. My mom was super cool, man. Like, when I was a... Oh, yeah, that was a great game, guys. Good play. That's how you do it. Yes, it was. That's what I like to see. Good teamwork turns a victory. It's going to be very rewarding. 42,000 silver with the premium. Now, if you look down there, guys, and you see where it says with premium, without premium, this game's 100% free to play. Now, when we come out of here right here, Look up on the corner, on the very top corner of my screen, and you're going to see 258 days. Now, I went ahead and bought premium for a year. It's $99. Yes, this game is completely free to play. But what I did when I bought premium last August when I got into this game, when I started playing it on the one here, was it allowed me to make so much silver and so much XP that if you're really into this game, I recommend it because it's going to allow you to progress your tanks really nice. All right. Woohoo! Let's go back out in our tier nine La Boomington. Operation La Boomington. Oh, okay. One other thing I want to point out to you, too, guys, that's really sweet about World of Tanks. And it's also, for me, becoming a game changer and taking me to the next level in tanks. And that's to do with these perks right here. Now... I didn't really understand this when I got into tanks, and the tankers were trying to explain it to me. They were really patient with me, and they're like, Chef, use that plus symbol over there with your crew. 
And I'm like, shut up! I'm managing my tank! But what your crew does, the more you use your crew once you've trained them on your tank, is they start learning perks. And you see those four things up there? Each one of those has an amazing ability, like better fire extinguishing, mentor the one with the book, overall experience gathering, the damage module one. So when I blast a tank and I wreck its cannon, it's going to show to my commander to hit it again and put it out of commission. And then the light bulb, that tells me, Bloop! it makes this crazy sound when the enemy's pointing a gun at me, which gives me a little bit of warning. So look how many perks you can have. If you have 15 perks running at once, holy shnikes, your tank's going to be firing faster, driving faster, overall performing better. Oh, it's an amazing thing, guys. So, really don't for hesitate to get into your tanks. I can't. I'm, I tried, bro, but they shoot my old ass. They shoot me, Shaggy Hobo. I tried. I tried, bro. I tried. They're like, old man, you are weak. I'm like, don't shoot me. Oh, man. And then, if you're wondering what these gold tanks are, guys... These are premium tanks that World of Tanks will put out every once in a while. And you can actually spend money. I spent about $50 US on this one. And they'll have amazing attributes. But this is not a pay-to-win game. This Tier 8 tank has some awesome things going for it. Let's look at its package right here. It only has one type of package, though. What comes with it? It's regular default gear. There's no upgrades to be earned for this. You can put equipment on it, which is going to, again, give you some advantages and stuff. But overall, this tank is just designed to be awesome, but not to be designed to where it unbalances the game. And another advantage, the crew you put in this can train and get that double experience and learn really well. And you can transfer crews from these tanks to any other tank with those perks we were just talking about for free, guys. That's a major thing in this game. So having some premium tanks is definitely awesome. What? Chef, screw that. I'll never spend a dollar. Well, World of Tanks, War Gaming's generous because they give you tanks like this. Where is it right here? They gave us this PZ-2 during Christmas time. A great... Wait, was it the PZ? No, wait, no, no, sorry. They gave us this. Sorry, guys. They gave us the... Where the hell is it? This one, the PZ-2D. Sorry, I got a lot of tanks. But they gave us this one, so it's a great tank for training your crews early on. Yeah. Anyways, I could talk all day about the game. Let's get back into it. Oh... Let's ride. The Type 59. Dude, I've been getting wrecked by that tank. I can't wait to progress this AT through. And only 1,500 points to the next gun. That tells me it's going to take me about one battle with that double XP. I might have to sit through one with the regular gun. Unless I just go through it and I save my free XP, then I can put all that into upgrades for the tank. Not a bad idea. So I have to work up about another maybe 30,000. Not a bad idea to put, you know. I like to, when I get a new tank, to really have a good chance with it, you know. Ooh, Runeberg. This is going to be a city map, man. Picture like... House to house style, streets and narrow alleys, and this this is always an interesting map. It can be quite challenging if you get the artillery in this map. Quite challenging. Damn, that's awesome, Shaggy Hobo, dude! I just started playing this game last summer when it came to the Xbox One. Um, what drew me to it? My friends had played it all from the 360, and they were like, bro, you got to come over and play it. Look at these graphics. And I was like, well, let me see free-to-play graphics. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, this is free-to-play? You're not going to ask me to, like, give them some money right now or something? My buddy's like, no, man, if you like it, you can buy premium or some tanks. I'm like, well, wait a minute. So the multiplayer and everything's free? He's like, yeah, bro, 15 on 15, smooth running multiplayer, free to play. I'm like, I could get to the tier 10s for free. He's like, yeah, just takes time. I was like, 
Okay, what's the catch? And I've still been waiting to see what that catch is. I think the catch is you gotta love to take time to kick ass. If you're in a rush and what like a tier 10 tank in one day, well, that's gonna be a pretty big challenge. I don't know if it's insurmountable. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pit you, I love you. I wanna tell this guy sorry right now. I'm gonna be like, look, don't beat me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the T-22 Proto? I call that the T-22 Frodo, dude, because that thing has the one ring. That thing was using the one ring to rule them all on us the other day. The one ring was strong in that tank. Got a nice line going this way. Let's pull up our overall maps. We only got three on the right. I'm going to definitely stay here on the right with these guys. We got to be smart, though. And they do got Artie. Thanks, Tragic Plot. That's how we do it. Thanks, man. Thanks, v Br W. Brown. You're awesome, bro. Shaky, bro. Thank you so much. I love to use, like, Hawaiian terms, man. When I was a kid, I got to live in Hawaii for four years, man. My dad was running a laboratory for searching for oil called Faber Laboratories, and it was, it was a pretty cool time, man. I got to do a lot of traveling early on in my youth, and... Like, when I was seven years old, my mom took me to a sushi bar in Tokyo that, like, it was one of the influences in my life, you know? We went in there and we, like, sat down, like, on our knees, you know? And at these little tables, it was really cool. And, um, yeah, I was just always really fortunate. But my dad, he, uh, you know, for logistics, because he was doing so much in Asia, he liked to fly out of Maui. So we lived in Maui for four years in Haleakala. And so I'll always tell you guys, shiki takaliki or, you know, and that's our own version on uh, Shiki Shiki or, or Hang Loose or Noka Oi. And while I'm not Hawaiian in any way, I just love the language. And I love things like Mahalo, which is basically the Hawaiian people are just so cool and so such gracious people. That's what I've noticed, like, worldwide is people are so cool everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, people rock this world. Beep, beep, beep. Ha ah, I'm waiting here for you. Oh, that's a T-28. Oh, no, not the Frodo. They've got a one ring on their team, too. Look at that thing bouncing my rounds. I hate you, prototype. It's got this really dirty angled armor, and he's no he knows how to use it over there. He's bounced three rounds off me so far, man. This is making bad a sad. Ooh, at least I got his buddy over there. That doesn't make me so sad. Out of that Roomba. Is it gonna be a ramp? Oh, they're behind me! No, they flanked me! No, they're on my butt! Oh, the whole team's dead, no wonder! No! Should I get the M6 or the Jag Panzer? Well, that's gonna depend on you, little, 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 twi uh, little Twix. Yeah, um, I don't know, man. I kinda. I kind of enjoy myself like the the German line, like the Panzer line, but you know that that M6 I believe leads into the T27, which is the American heavy line. We could check that right now. Let's take a look at that. That's a good question. Okay, so you're asking, should you go up? I think right here, if I'm not mistaken, to the M6. Okay. Now a lot of people have told me I'm gonna hate this tank, bro. I haven't gone there yet. I'm on the T1 myself, still working that way. But I've heard the M6 can be quite challenging. So I was kind of hoping to maybe push through it with 3 XP. Because this tank right here, I hear, is amazing. The T29 and the T32. And, and that leads to the T110 E5 Heavy. And I know that tank's incredible. That thing's pooped on me a million times in this game. So definitely. And the other one I'm doing here is I got to go from the Jackson to this AT line up here. And I'm looking forward to getting from Jackson and finishing this line out to the T110 E3 myself. So I'm right there with you, bro. But yeah, I hear, I hear, let's check out the packages on it. Let's take a look at it. All right, so it starts out. Ooh, dude, the gun. It's got a fast fire rate, but it ain't penetrated nothing. A tier six, if you run into a tier eight of that, all right, but it's only 5,000 to your first upgrade, and you're going to go from a Tier 5 gun to a Tier 6 gun. It's a significantly better gun. I mean, the first gun, yikes. 
But 5,000 in, you're at least going to be functional. Um, next tier, again, let's see, I think that's, no, was that? Yeah, that's, that's actually another gun upgrade. Um, yeah, it's getting better. Let's see this one here. So this is going to take you to, what, a tier 7 gun? Yeah, that, at that point, that last gun, nice fire rate, nice penetration. Yeah, but those, those first couple things, yee -hee. Yes, the 90 mil, for sure. Yes, yes, the Hellcat, and the Hellcat can be uber deadly with that. All right, we're always happy to look at stuff like that. Got some more work here to do, my, uh, my little British tank destroyer here. 1,500 away from my tier 8. Yes! Can't wait to roll that out later with the guys. Be like, all right, protect my tier 8-ness. I love getting new tanks in this game. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's don the power of the Xbox amulet. Now I know I'll be hit by artillery immediately. Protect me, amulet! <laughs> Insta round, like as soon as the artillery can reload. I've been hit one time in all the games I've played. Not as soon as you start. It takes about, about 40 seconds after start, but literally about 40 seconds after the start of the match, I'm driving forward. I just take a round right through the front of my tank and blow up. Miracle already shot. The enemy's coming to take this location. Fight them off. All right, so let's see. They're coming to take this location. What's the word here? All right, we're only playing up one tier. They had some nice tanks over there. Two already. We've got four tank killers. That should help us if our guys play smart. It's saying to defend this thing, but I don't know, man. It looks like our guys are kind of moving out. We don't have a strong presence on the right right now. It's like three games in a row. I've been the only presence on the right besides a few other tanks. A lot of times they'll run along this side over here, this side berm. I do it myself with Nemesis Finn, right where our Artie is. They sneak down the side really fast, and it gives you good defilation. <coughs> I have a feeling I'm going to run into some this way. Got to be careful to stay out of that water. I go in that water, it's insta-death. Oh, yeah. I want to try to get this Artie a little bit of a buffer zone, though, so that he can do some maneuver and do some fire and, and feel a little bit comfortable for his role, you know. And also make sure this flank's secure down here. There it is. Enemies got us in their Not good. That Tiger 2 is going to be making me. He's going to be mad at me in a second and hurt my tank, man. And they got Artie that can hit me right here, so I got to be real careful. The one thing, though, is this British tank killer, man, is it can penetrate that Tiger's armor. And the other guy's showing me his butt right now because our scout went by him. Look at the fire rate on that. Oh, man, what got me? Damn, something played me. Artie or something hit me in the butt with my gas can. All right, I gotta be smart. Whew! And I kept the fire extinguisher on my tank right there, guys. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's the Artie just blasting me right now. He's peppering the Padukey out of me right now. I gotta try to get away from him. Leave me alone, Artie! I'm sorry I shot at your friends. He really supported his teammates, man, because I was lining up some sweet shots on those guys. Target locked. Looks like that one went right through. We've got a lock. 
might be able to get over here and do some help for these guys. Give them some ham. Oh, yeah, they're pushing up on our back side, though, right now. That whole arty side's going to fall right now. Oh, no. End up tracked out here. The one place you never want to be. I should have just saved the repair kit. I should have just saved it. Oh. Well, do your best. Let's jump up to something a little bit bigger here. Bigger not always be a better, but a little higher of a tier. Yep, you can get us on YouTube for free. We appreciate it, friends. We're just a couple follows away from 200 followers on there. Really appreciate it. Again, YouTube is 100% free to a follow. I started doing it a couple months ago. And yeah, man, we put our archive videos up on there. And all sorts of cool stuff. I got a lot of plans for it. Yeah, actually, we're 11 subscribers away from, from uh, 200, guys. We'd love to get there today. If you want to help us get to 200 on YouTube, that would be awesome. Let me know if you haven't subbed and you do sub over there. I'll be like, yay! What's up, Otaku Muffin? Shout out to the mighty Laura. She's an artist, and she's awesome. Laura, you should draw a picture of my gingy guy on fire on World of Tanks, my gingerbread logo. I'll show you in a second here. The gingy man. Gingy. I always think a gingerbread guy from Shrek. I'm a huge Shrek fan. Don't take my Shrek from me. Me and the ogre, we have a lot in common. Ooh, while this loads up, I'm gonna run and grab some coffee. I'll be right back. Ah! Made it back. Can I join you next game, Kill Zone? We should be some BF4 sometime. Yeah. I just re-downloaded it all, but I mean, I'm gonna stream some of it soon too, bro. I'm gonna re-download my server and stuff again, bro. I've gotten a lot better about just dealing with it. Ooh, a Death Star, guys. You know that British tank that I love? That's the biggest brother of them all. My AT will turn into that in. Three tiers. The t I'm at tier eight, guys. The next one after that's the tortoise, and the one after the tortoise is the mighty Death Star right there. The power of the Death Star. Now, I was using the 15 Simpack gun on this, but I went, hey, Laura, there's Gingy. Yeah, Jeffrey, don't get me killed. Gingy on the side of my tank. But I went to the 12-8 uh, on this. Even though it's a lighter-powered gun, it fires faster, 
It's got more penetration and a faster fire rate, and I found that, like, I'm almost using my 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 E100 anymore. Like, like, an it's hard to describe. Like a like a mobile bunker, you know. Like I shut down, I lock down, and I put some good shells down. I love I love these heavies though. They're really nice. The E100's a really nice ride. Oh, thanks, bro. You know, it's hard to do that with, like, I'm pro like, like, in the game, like, I'm, like, trying, but I'm not really a clutch shooter. I like, like, we used to, me and Dark Visions, we'd spend a whole day sky hunting, and out of, like, 40, 40 jets we might shoot down, we might take the 10 best, you know? So it was, like, I always spent a lot of time, though, always finding the best shots, you know? And our guys just got hammered on this side over here. See that? That's the sound when I know I'm being aimed at. That's from the perk on my tank. From my tank drivers. It's a very cool perk. Where'd they go? Well, he ran away because he knew I was aiming back at him with a huge gun. Uh-oh, but he's got a whopping trigger in with backup. Oh, I'm so dead. This is the end of Sheffrey. It is Mad Max Charge. Oh, they already ruined my life. Artie, I hate you! I had almost made it! I had almost made it and then the Artie stopped me! Artie, you mean die, you? No! Ah! I almost pushed through to the promised land and then the Artie was like tracked in the middle of the whole battlefield. What challenge did I complete? Get blown away? All right, I achieved the get blown away challenge. <laughs> blown away. 540 points. But I need 1,500 for my first upgrade. Let me look at this thing here because, all right, let me see. So if I go and I get it, then it's 46,000. Ooh, and that's another upgraded gun. What's this one do? Ooh, damn! Damn, the fire rate on that, dude. These British tank destroyers, they don't mess around. Shout out to the mighty UK. And then I will become the tortoise. <laughs> then eventually I will become the Death Star. The tank that's feared. 183 millimeter cannon on that thing. It does more damage than my artillery. Oh. Love this game. Wait a minute, I want to read about that. I want to know what that was conceptualized as. Let's go to that. Let's go to the learning hour. Learning hour. All right. Info. This proposed heavy tank destroyer utilized components of the M2 Conqueror. The vehicle featured a gun and a rear-mounted oscillated turret. The project was canceled shortly after a dummy vehicle was built. So again, the conceptualization of the tank, but it was never actually put into into the fight. Interesting. All right. Yeah, man, don't mess around. Don't mess around with the mighty UK tanks out of that snap. That tank and the Waffentragen, bro, E100, are two of the most feared tier 10s on the battlefield. Both tank killers and both capable of kind of like just changing the entire outcome. I've had my E100, the one I was just driving and blew up in a second ago, killed twice in one shot by that Death Star. Where it just perfect round right to my magazine. Perfect penetration. Sayonara, Sheffrey. The mighty you If you look at the tank, too, there's, like, a rear gun back here that was probably designed to, like, keep people from getting up and trying to throw grenades in your turret. See how it's got, like, a rear-facing machine gun there? And I think that might be a flamethrower on the front of it right there. Like, hey, little flamethrower in your face. Very nice. I would like to see Wargaming maybe develop a game like this. You know, of course, keep World of Tanks, but maybe do, like, a single-player game 
where you could take your tanks and like flamethrow Nazis? That would be awesome, dude. We're storming the beaches of Normandy. Yep, 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 yep. Guys, and we're about 11 followers away from 200 on YouTube. Please follow us on the YouTube. Oh, this map, this can get really interesting. Let's see, our guys are going to push the left, it looks like, hard. That's Stuart. Oh, man, more than likely he's going to run into a bunch of tier, a bunch of tank killers that are just kind of looking. There he is, looking down this run right here. I'm going to try to put some counterfire support on here for these guys. Help them out. There it is. The mighty UK's tank gun. We'll blast holes right through these guys. Always better to aim too, guys, to find that sweet spot manually. Sometimes I'll snap shoot, but aiming's usually going to pay off with better dividends. I'm just I haven't had nothing but penetration with the mighty UK. Oh, then they track them sideways. Two kills already that fast with this just incredible tank destroyer that we're about to upgrade to tier eight, man. And, and this is not some game-changing tank I'm using. If these guys flanked or got behind me, I'd be dead. But right now, this tank's optimally set up for what I'm doing. But if they get already over on me or drop an already round on me, or our guys rush forward too much, or I do, we lose this one in an instant. Still, though, racking up some nice, just bouncing, just bouncing the rounds off the front of this thing, looking for the opportunity to track them. I want to try to track that KB. KB bouncing rounds again, no damage, just bouncing, ding, ding, ding. Hey, Acid, what's up, bro? I was talking about, guys, dude, that's a tank legend. Dude, if you like tanking and you're on Xbox, man, you gotta give that guy a follow. And you put a space between his name, but that's his actual gamer tag. Dude, he's awesome. He's got 20 tier 10s. That's passion, man. You're a passionate man. Can't wait to platoon up with you later, bro. I'm almost to my tier eight, bro. Yeah, already got two kills. Woohoo! These guys, though, now they're gonna start catching fire from the side over here. They gotta be careful. There it is. See how I just snapshot on that? See how he's catching fire from that side? That's come getting experience in the maps. I'm gonna try to help him, but oh, he's getting. I'm gonna have to worry about this front shooter first. He's he's pretty much done. He's pretty much done. We could try to make some mission to save him, but it's probably going to cost us like six tanks. All right, let's choke the rivers with our dead. Bahala or die. Woo, Team Bahala. Team Bahala charge. To Bahala and beyond. Bahala. No, don't track me in the middle of the Bahala field. I'm actually not really that worried about it. Kind of hoping to draw some fire, and they still haven't penetrated the front of this mighty British tank killer. Watch yourself, bro. Don't expose your side flank. You will go to Valhalla, not the enemy. We the track. Let's roll. Now, I could have repaired my tank and fixed it that way, but I waited for our guys to do it in case I have to do it again real quick in case they track me. Because right here, it's about to get dangerous. Oh, yeah, there's that mighty British gun right there. The power of the UK cannot be denied! <laughs> Let's go. What's up, first blood? Woo, that would be awesome, bro. We've done it before. I mean, I've cooked the first... Dude, a year ago, on March 1st, I launched my show with the idea of cooking daily and I had a kitchen in the background and we made potato wedges and we did a spicy hot uh, pepper eating contest bro it was awesome I would love to organize a studio with like a couch again and do that if it worked out that would be amazing this is going to be a rush to the base we got to try to get to the enemy's base before they get to ours it's going to be close this could be a close game it sucks to lose a game like that after like having three kills, bouncing a million rounds. See, see how they're going to our base. If our guys think, come on, boys, get in here. If we can get three tanks in here faster, then we can win this. Focus on this area. Come on, get in that base. Hold here. 
See how the clock's counting down? The more tanks you get in, the faster the clock's going to count down. And if our guys can score a hit on them, it'll stop the clock and vice versa. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. There it goes. There it goes. Our guys just got in here. Get in here, boys. Now it's a tie. Now we're in the lead on tank capping, but we almost need a hit to happen. This could be a draw. What's up, Steve? Woo! What's up, go to that snipe? Steve, you've been with me my entire show, bro. You've been with me from beginning to the to now, man, for the entire show. Looks like it's going to be a draw. Win, lose, or draw. Well, we did our best. I feel like I had a good game. I feel like a winner because you guys are hanging. What's up, Steve? Yeah, man, shout out, guys. What up, God of that snipe? Thanks, guys. What's up, Nate Burrito? Oh, man, guys, you, you subs, man. You you guys have been helping us have great growth. Man, if we'd have won that one, I would have probably got, like, so much more money and experience. But it's all good. It was still a great game. Woohoo! Well, thank you so much, my friends. Donning the mighty chef's hats. All right. Well, we could go to the next tier. But then we're going to have to earn. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let's do it. Fortune favors the brave. Luck favors the bold. Shout out to the mighty SAS. Woo, that's going to cost us two million silver and some gold. All right, we're gonna spend some money. I always love seeing your tanks roll out. I like that the gun centralized on that too, and not on the edge. Oh yeah, I will share them, Nate. I will share them. Steve, you're amazing, bro. Shout out, my man, for the power of the Xbox connected us. All right, so we got some options. See how it gives me the best option? It says, take the crew from the tank I was just in and up them to this tank. I think that's a pretty darn good option to do. Ooh, now if I spend a thousand gold, with that's a lot, that's like 10 bucks. Ah, what the hell? Fortune favors the brave, let's do it. Ah! All right, now I have my AT. But this has no crew. I always train my crew to learn mentor first. All right. So. Let's go over here and do a Hoover maneuver and shift around some XP. I think I got some free XP. Yes, I do. And the power of the XB. I don't ever like to start with a small gun, and for a 1500x upgrade right here, not on this guy. Where's my new British tank killer right here? My British tank killer! Alright, so. I've transferred over, and instead of even going with the tier 7 gun to even start with, I'm going to go straight to the upgrade for 1500 XP. Bam, we're going to go to a bigger gun. That plays to my tier. Boom, we're rocking and rolling. Now, I'm going to have to wait to get to this one. It's going to take a few games, but that is significant. Like, over this, this was a nice gun, but this is like the gun we just basically had a second ago. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Definitely the power of the Xbox. Now, running low on silver, man. This is going to cost me some silver. Medium gun rammer is going to take off my load time overall. Camo net going to keep me hidden. And I like for my tank killer either the coded optics or binocular. Let's do it. Either or kind of having their advantages. 
Alrighty. Our new mighty British tank killer. Let's take her out and test drive this Mamma Jamma. Now, potentially I believe this tank can play up to a tier 10, so I better hope I get some tier 8s. Whew. Once you get that last gun upgrade, though, once we get that final upgrade, a gun upgrade on this tank, dude, we'll be just shooting holes through everything again. It's going to take some work. You got to put some time in. I love it. I love doing it. I love the tanks. Look at this thing. Shout out to the mighty UK. Ooh, damn, this thing's got some hit points. 1450. That's like a Tiger Heavy takes hit points. Look at that angle slope on it, too. You can just tell this thing wants to bounce rounds. We've got enemies incoming. Either take them out or catch them. Okay. Let's go. Pulling about 20 kilometers top speed right now, 21. It's not the fastest, it's not the worst, though. I actually prefer a little bit of a slower run with my tank killer because it allows me not to get ahead of myself. All right, let's look where we're at on the battlefield here. All right, we're playing to our tier, nice. Good, looks like a good amount going left. I'm going to take at least one. Wow, we got a bunch. I'm tempted to go right right now, but I'm going to go to the left because they have no tank killers this way. Alright. That Roomba's deadly out there. That is a deadly, deadly tank. Ooh, somebody's lighted up. Get it, boys! Shout out to the subs, man. To the Bro2D2s, man. Love you guys. Guys, tomorrow Fight Club on Mortal Kombat! We will do the power of the combat. All right. When it shows a green name like that over your thing, that means a kill happened. A medium tank on the other team was dropped. And I'm going to come around this corner and see if I can't have some nice defilate from up here, maybe down into this valley right here, if the enemy pushes up. But also, you never want to get hit in your undercarriage on your tank either. So let's make sure we keep our, keep our backs covered here. If they push through here, which is looking like it's going to be a major turning, if I were these guys, I'd fall back. There, there's just too much ahead of them. That bulldog, it seems like he's feeling the same thing, like he's trying to get out of there. Nice shooting right there by the Churchill. Shout out to the mighty UK! All right, now I'm going to lend him a hand. There we go. There we go. That's why we're up here. Sniper position. And while it's looking good right now, I'm not going to rush up too much. I want to be smart. One, kind of like a sniper would let the enemy get to him, like get out there and wound him. You know, like tracking a tank is like shooting a guy in a lake, kind of. And you saw how I did that last game when those guys got tracked and I went out there to help my guy. You know, you can often turn a battlefield if a bunch of guys are like, No! We can't leave Billy behind! I often tell my platoon, I'm like, Don't sacrifice yourself! Live! Man, those guys were giving it. They were fighting hard down there. I'm going to be the next part of the counterattack over here. Enemies looking right at us. I got to be careful out here. Something's looking at me. See that round bounce off is like Ready to fire on target. Should get a nice penetration. I'm gonna kinda look yeah, I'm gonna look right there. Yep. The top notch. See how it turned red right there? Kinda told me that was gonna be a good spot to go for. I think this guy wants to hit me, but 
I'm using this hill in the angle of my armor to really just give myself a nice shooting advantage on these guys. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I did a second ago. I'm going to aim for his top notch. Try to hit that little, little captain's quarter right there. See if we can't get a little meteor part of his tank to try to hit. Look at the rate of fire, though. Even with those miss... Oh, there we go. Hey, give me a... Even with... Oh, that's a Type 59. That's the Type 59 Proto. I'm surprised I damaged him the first time I hit him. I'm going to try to keep him pinned down. Uh-oh. Now he's doing the reverse to me. He's keeping me pinned down. That tank is amazing, man. That's an amazing vehicle. All right, let's see if we can't hit that meaty... On. He can't take too many of those. Come on, buddy, you can't. Oh. Enemies looking right at us. Ready to fire on target. Now this guy right here potentially. Or even his friend over here who's not looking towards us is a nice little one to work on. That Type 59 sweat his bullets on me while I can put some work in on these guys. Since I'm not having no results on him. That's that T-29 American Heavy right there. That's a nice ride. I don't think he can bounce them forever though. If we can find anywhere else on this tank wide enough. Just this top notch is showing it. Enemies got us in their sights. That type 59, he's still over there. Oh, but he showed the wrong part of his tank to us. Yeah, now I have penetration. See how like I'm looking for the spot on his tank. Like that. He'll be dead in a second. Look at the reload time on that UK tank destroyer. And it doesn't bother me at all that my teammate got that kill. If anything, I'm like this. Bravo, teammate. We're a team. It's not Army of One. This is a teamwork here. Oh, yeah. I just tracked that guy, so now he won't be able to move. See if we can't get that side profile of his turret right there. He's bouncing rounds, man. Be proud of his. Be proud of your heavy tank, man. You're bouncing rounds, brother. See how his track just came back up? I'm gonna hit him again though, so he can't drive out of there. My goal is gonna be to try to track him. Tracking the tanks is usually easiest spot to like break down their armor on. He's got a lot of armor though, man. He's dug it. There it is. It's just gonna overall wear down that armor. I think we got his side turret kind of showing us a little bit of it. Gets a little bit. There it is. That's what we want. There we go. Nice. Good job, team. Get a good win in our first time out with our tier eight, man. I. The British tank killers are boss in this game, dude. And see how that two times star? That immediately gives me 3,000 XP. That's going to go to our next upgrades. Um, a nice win towards our stats. Yeah. Dude, that thing blocked a ton of shots. I was taking shots from that Type 59 shooting his buddy. And that Type 59's got a nice gun on it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Ooh, Ronda, another challenge. This is another important thing, guys. Your ops. So I'm using a tank destroyer. Now I'm going to get... Uh, it's gonna. What is this going to give us? Like a day of premium. Wow, that's awesome. Cool deal, dudes. So it lets you earn premium to get that double money and that double experience. Oh, switch to the HE. I should have... Acid! Acid! What's up, William? What's up, guys? And my next upgrade is going to take this gun to an even better gun on here. It's going to, I think it's going to give us a better, yeah, it's going to give us a better engine too. We're going to pull 650 on horsepower. And then that final gun, man, rate of fire 12 rounds a minute. <laughs> you saw how fast that is. That's just like reload, fire, reload, fire. That's perfect for a tank killer, especially for me when I need to readjust. 
Acid, you know we're going to be playing a ton of these tier 8s today, bro. I want to be to the tortoise soon. Alright, let's go. Oh, sure, bro. Bro, I went to the first... I went to the first... Um, what the hell was that called? Let me ask my dad. Hey, Dad, what was that thing you took us to in Los Angeles when we were kids? The WWF thing. What was it? Oh, you went. You took us to the original WWF championship in Los Angeles. And we saw Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan and King Kong Bundy. That's right. That's my pop out there. Oh. Yeah, I love wrestling, man. I've been around since the beginning of it. I watched... WWF kind of give way to me to WCW because I liked Le uh, um, what were those guys? Legion of Doom man with their spiked tusk football pads dude. I always wanted to see one of those guys just like do a Mortal Kombat fair Taurus shoulder charge into his enemy's face. <laughs> um, and then the Sting was amazing of course Ultimate Warrior Woo! Ric Flair man he was always the bad guy. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely have some more for her to rock it up, buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, we went to the first, um, yeah, WWF championship, man. And King Kong Bundy and Hulk Hogan fought it out right there in front of us. That was pretty awesome. I remember Macho Man. Oh, yeah. Randy Savage. Shout out. We lost so many of those guys, man. Either they died in the ring, they died of just being hard on themselves. Man, Owen Hart, dude, when he fell, that was just... That was kind of like, the like for me, the turning point on it, where I, I didn't watch it as much after that, because I was like, I was like, these guys are, like, giving up their lives. Man, nobody's going to go right at all. I guess they're going to be the anchor out here on the right, bro. Yeah, that's going to be huge. That's going to be a huge battle. There's so much good stuff going on, too. UFC... You see the the UFC guys like Ken Shamrock and those guys are gonna like fight again, dude. That's that man. I'll be like retire, bro. Don't take no more hits to the head. I'm the only guy on the right side over here. This makes me really, really nervous. Acid, I'm scared, bro. We got nobody on the right. They'll overrun me faster than you could say overrun a guy all by his lonesome over here. I'm just going to have to try to make a good impression on these guys. He's going to try to get behind me smart. That's where I'm weak is if he gets behind me. If he comes head on at me, I'm, I'm going to be all right. But if he gets behind me, I'm going to have problems. He ran me in and damaged him. That's a heavy take. I actually worked out real nice. He pulled He pulled away from all his guys to come take me on one-on-one. -on -one. This guy's crazy. But if he gets behind me, he'll have a chance. I need my team to help me, man. Where are my guys at? Dude, there's 15 of us, man. Right, I'm going to have to ro counter rotate. Yeah, he's going to work my ass over because I have nobody helping me here. Nobody sees that this guy's in the base here with me. Ah, self-reliant, Chef. Army of you. Okay. That one I dedicate to my man, Acid Warfare, because I was get, I was getting really pissed off right there, to be honest. I was getting really disappointed in these guys. I was just going to quit, actually, and just let them have the base. Because, like, I mean, I don't know, understand what kind of game the team thinks they're going to play. But if, if you're going to leave an entire flank uncovered, it shows me a bunch of noob tankers that have no skill at all. It should go play Call of Duty instead of working on playing this game. Uh, now they're coming at it again. At least I'm getting backed up this time by this E25 over here. I'll try to use the corpse of their buddy. I can't believe my team, man. Like, where where did they go? They just all drove off a cliff and died? Jesus Christ. That's the worst team I ever played with, hands down, in World of Tanks right there. Hands down. Dude, you see that, bro, though? The team. Jeez. Way to abandon your post. There's our base that we need to defend. Let's all drive into a lake over there. Literally, it's like, if Billy drove off the cliff, would you follow him? And they're like, hell yeah! Operation Limming Charge into the water. I hope the enemy wins after that. But they probably won't because I put in so much work holding that flank. 
I know, man. That made me mad, bro. I got my blood pressure up right there. Xbox, cool my blood pressure. Ah! The thing that was frustrating was the guy spitting on my buttocks. You know, he took off half my life in one shot. <sighs> but, you know, I guess I just got to deal with it. I want to show you guys something funny that I love about this game. They name your characters. Oh, yeah. If we'd have had a team there, hell, we would have already won that game. We'd have turned that whole flank. Those guys came charging forward like Suicide Alley. But check this out. Look at the name of my guy on this tank. Bodo Stack. Hi, I'm Bodo Stack. Dude, that guy should be like a star pilot for the Empire with the name Bodo Stack. I'm Bodo Stack, a spice smuggler. All right, we got to go to another one. We got Bodo Stack, then we got Till Craw. Definitely belongs in Star Wars, but look at this one. Kirill Kolishinkin. This guy should be like a fighter going like, My Hokto Shinkin is invincible because I'm Kyril Kolishinkin. <laughs> I love it. I love the names these dudes get. All right. I've let the power of my high blood pressure recede. <laughs> I've let the power of the blood pressure. I could feel my carotid artery in my forehead that match, dude. Craig, you coming, brother, with you, man? I need you, brother. Craig, you come back and protect my flank. I am lonely, and I just can't live without you. <laughs> Bro, that happens to me while I'm twitching. I don't even have this thing hooked up to TV, and I'm like... Yes, I'm on Xbox One. And it's like, what? Go to TV right now? In the middle of your broadcast of a thousand people? Bye! <coughs> oh, I can't wait to talk. I love you. You're the best. You are the best, Laura. I got to show you Gingy zoomed in. I will after this map. Oh, this is my all-time favorite map in this entire game <gasps> sacrilege chef no seriously i love lakeville guys this map to me has it all it's got three basic passes it's got a town down here where you can go have like like cqc style fighting but it's got this narrow path right here where you can get snipers up on and then it's got the valley of doom to the left and if anything is played right it's an amazing level you know if played wrong, it can feel quite punishing. Ooh, I'm the arty on this level. I'm going to probably set up and watch the Valley of the Doom. I'll probably have more artillery defilation that way, but I'm tempted to watch this way, too. I guess I'll just kind of see where it starts up at the start and kind of kick off lining up this way. The other thing I'm going to do with my arty guys... I'm going to put it to where I think the enemy is going to be spotted so that my crosshair is closing in right now. So if the enemy, say, gets spotted like right here or right here right now, I'm going to be ready to fire without having to wait a long time. William, look at how this one closes in, dude. It's got like the best closing ratio. Wow, they're pushing in fast. Probably kill a guy like me. I got to try to catch this guy like right here if he gets through, if he blasts through the gap. Time it, time it, time it. Oh, I missed it, but I was ready. See, a scout tank will rush through, spot your arty. He might have spotted a bunch of different stuff. Now, let's see. How's it setting up here? All right, these guys are pushing through the valley. There's only three on that side. I'm going to reinforce that side. Let's look on the right. The right looks strong. All right, so I'm going to reinforce the valley over here. i got to be smart, though, because I can... The west side for Artie. Agree. What's up, Brian? Shout out to the brothers. William and Brian. Guys, check this thing out, man. The boom boom has grown up. The boom boom has grown up. He's tier 9 did. All right. This looks like we have nice defilation on them, but probably protection for ourselves. Oh, yeah. Beautiful shot. And that's a heavy... See, that's the kind of tank we want to hit, dude. We want to hit their heavies and hurt them. The other thing it can do is really stop a charge. 
And when I hit one guy, I'll often switch to the next guy because he'll be, like, not so worried as the guy that just got hit. All right, so let's zoom up. Uh oh, something just happened on the right. Somebody died. I'm going to be patient here and hope for a spot. Now our guys are calling for help to the right. This valley looks like it's stalled for a second, so I'm going to see. That's the other thing that's amazing about the French Hardy. Like, each tank having their own stats. I'm going to haul buns over here, because this is a really mobile tank for an artillery. And it's got a turret, so I can kind of turn this way. Maybe put some fire support for these guys that look like they've pushed through. Again, I just want to be real careful, because I can be one-shotted by a lot of different stuff. And they've got a long range to hit me at. Let's see if we can't get some fire support through here into the city. I don't want to rush anything at the point of reload time. I'd rather let my crosshair close in, time it out, judge the distance, just kind of let ride. I don't chase things either. Like if something, if I miss and it's hiding, I don't go straight back after it. Like, I'll go to a new target off and something that's not so worried about being aimed at. She's loaded. Oh, man, he just pushed through there. Nice moving, man. He's moving fast. Yeah, this could get bad quick. That E-50 is going to have that guy on his flank. I need to neutralize this guy if possible. Yeah. He's got that house in there. He's a good tanker. He knows to keep keep protected <sighs> to miss under crucial shots too when needed I did Steve I was on it today man it's 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 pretty good the playlist is tough bro though because it's regular and I don't play regular so I was having a hell of a time on it man Try to catch this guy, but try an all game to get him. I guesstimate where he's at. Time travel time of the round. Oh, and he turned, man. I love this guy. I'm not mad or anything. I'm actually really impressed with his way he's handled his tank. He's kept him clean. He's kept it off um really out of my way of being able to shoot it. And now it's done. We're done. The writing's on the wall. The whole left flank's gone. Don't be up here blasting me in the face any second. If anything, I should try to run. Oh, the time to run is gone. There's nowhere, nowhere to run to, Sheffy. Nowhere to hide. And that's the tank, actually, that killed me that I shot at the entire time. So I think it's poetic justice that he drove all the way through the battlefield and then kicked my ass. Oh. Back to the garage to cry. Hey, so Craigums, you out there, man? I, I could use some backup, brother. Woo! Let's see if we got Craig out here to... Oh, man. Reunited and it feels so good. I sent you an invite, my friend. Yeah! <laughs> What's up? Hey, Film Freak. Let's get up um, for XBM, man. Xbox Mad, man. Our new friends from the mighty UK. I want to get up there their uh, info. What's up, Ariana Katana? Welcome back. Oh, oh, Ataku Muffet. Check this out, too. This will help you with your with your goal there on your on your picture here. So this is Jinji that I'm always joking about, Ataku. He's like, ah, Sheffrey, no! Don't get me killed! He's got a, he's got a hole punch through him. Oh, man. Oh, Woo-woo! Right, 
Taking out the mighty AT-15. My new British tank destroyer. The power! Oh no! Oh, alright, no worries, Craig. No worries. No worries. Alrighty. Let's take out our KV-4 I've been working on, man. The Marty KV-4! Here we go. Now, this is a Russian heavy tank. I haven't upgraded it all the way. Ooh, need burrito. We got your message. We got the power of the burrito message. No worries, Craig. You know, I'm only broadcasting a while, little while longer. We'll just probably link up um, probably like later, bro. I'm, I'm only going until, like, this might be my last one. <laughs> I'm only going till 9 a.m., guys, so unless I instantly blow up. I've been broadcasting since 4 this morning. We got up. We looked at the new Call of Duty maps. I had to come over and do some takes because I was like, man, they picked on me. But now, to be honest, bro, I am so ready for some breakfast. So I'm going to lead out here with my KV here. Let the power of the Xbox. But hey, bro, I'll be on for multiplayer and stuff, and we can totally rock it, my friend. Got a lot of work to do. I got to get to my tortoise. Then I want my Dot Desta. You know, um, maybe think of the last place you went to find your keys there. It's always scary losing keys, you know. Definitely let your parents know, Ariana Katana, that you lost your keys. Focus on this location. Your parents might want to change your locks or something like that, because a, a breach in security is always a serious thing. I laugh. I don't leave my door locked here, because I just don't really worry about it. Somebody comes in my house, they're going to gonna be sad. I'm going to be... This guy's like, yeah, ch ch you're going to be real sad, chef. Well, I don't lock my door during the day, but I lock it at night. But, um, I have a lot of friends that live up and down the street that pop in. And, you know, we go for, like, bike rides and stuff, so. Ooh. Let us see here. They ought to be careful here. I'm not in a tank killer this time. I got to be smart. I don't want to get too, they're going to have a lot of, ooh, they only have one tank killer. Interesting, but still uh, enough tanks will work like tank killers depending on how many they got lined up down here We only have one tank killer too, and there's no Artie. It's an interesting uh, Interesting group here Okay, well just make sure you let your parents know Ariana because you don't want to again like you ever have a breach in your Security at home, you know. Ooh, this guy hammered. This guy hammered. Don't peek on me. I'm sorry I got caught peeking. They're like, don't peek at us. Radio man is back with us. Enemies got us in their sights. We're mobilized. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Good. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> if my plan was to draw fire, they succeeded. Oh, I'll keep them really worried about me. Oh, damn, there's tier 9s in here? I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's always a good one, William. Ooh. All right, well, Ariana, I would just definitely recommend letting somebody know. And you can always, you know, phone your local PD or anything like that and be like, hey, you know, not sure where my keys are. I don't know, man, but I would definitely keep track of all that stuff. Let your family know. Alright! 
He's going after our something. He's going after like our side flank, but oh, what's he doing? He's like, kill me. He's like, kill me, chef. What a death! I want to die. Yeah, I love that guy. He's my bestest friend in the whole world. Thanks for making me look good, bro. You're awesome. Wee! I'll help you, friend. See that though, guys? My tank was completely beat down. I mean, literally, I've got. 200 health left on this tank, but I didn't panic and I waited for opportunity to arise and I've killed two tanks now and turned a game where I would have got nothing and probably lost money into a game where if we win, I'm gonna make a lot of experience and stuff. So often, like, haste will make waste in this game. Yeah, definitely. Ah! I keep my stream really polite, Ariana. It's for everybody's respect. You know, I got, I got little cousins that watch the stream and stuff like that. And, and the younger Xbox viewers and stuff. And, you know, there's so many mature streams out there. And you can get anything you want in a stream nowadays, man. You, I, I just want to be that guy that's kind of just mellow. Like, you know, I go, Chef's the Mr. Rogers of Twitch. That doesn't bother me. I actually enjoy that. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood, a beautiful day in my neighborhood, a beautiful day in my neighborhood, oh yeah. That's, that's to me, the, the sugar on top. And while, yes, I can be a grumpy bear, I'm still a pretty mellow guy. I'm a kind of no-nonsense person myself, man. I, I don't like a lot of nonsense. I like to get to the solutions. Find the answers! Ah! It's important. Articulation of one's character. See that tier nine? That's what hit me earlier. Uh oh, gotta be side. careful. Gotta be careful. KV three out there. He's got a nice gun on him too. It's very similar to the one I I got on me. They, their last three takes are ganged up right here, and I'm just gonna wait till everybody kind of gets in there, and then I'm gonna make my own move in. Got to back up our guy's side flank on these guys. Oh, bro, yeah, no, Twitch is Twitch is all about. There's there's lots of rules like that, bro. Like I, you 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 don't Twitch without clothes on or anything like that. It's definitely I would never even consider something like that. But yeah, you you definitely um. Ooh, I could probably kill this guy. Or he's gonna kill me. Oh, his buddy saved him. Gonna be close here. Still, though, putting that pressure on, I went from a tank that was basically out of this fight to a tank that might finish this fight right there, you know? Like, I, I, I died, but I killed three tanks from my tank that was, you know, basically done. So, I consider that a, a great game. All right, friends. Well, that does it for my World of Tanks stream today. It's been a real pleasure just having you guys here. I love doing this. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm doing Fight Club on Mortal Kombat. We're going to be like, watch out! What's Finish, Chef! It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see you there. If you'd like to follow our channel, it's 100% free. If you'd like to sub to our channel, it's uh, $4.99 a month and it works out to about $60 a year. We really appreciate it, subs. You can always consider the Chef's had a mark that we're going to have a great show that's going to be a friendship show, a fun show, a show about gaming. And this is 11 months now as a Twitch partner. I love doing it. And again, we'll see you tomorrow, you guys. Have a great day, everybody. Woohoo! Yeah, man. Going out with a victory. All right. Oh, Saints Row. Dude, that game should be called the Ultimate Matrix game. I played that on the 360, dude. It's like, it's like the best Matrix game they ever played. P.S. Make another Matrix game. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm out. Much love to all of you, man. Have a great day, friends. We'll see you later. Yeah, that's our sub link. And, um, yeah. Bye-bye, everybody.